Hello everybody, this is me, Gabriel, and welcome to my lab. Look, I'm making videos with my webcam again, okay? Um, this video is currently being recorded on my gigantic television, which is on top of me. And my webcam is on my monitor, so basically I'll be looking up the whole video like this. It's gonna be kind of weird, but... If you can abstract this part of the video, I think it will be fine. So, great news. Today, Plasma 6 was just released on the Arch Linux repos. It was on the extra testing repository, but now it's officially on the extra uh, repository. You can come here. Look, oh my god, the, 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 the scroll animations on Plasma 6 are so, so smooth. Uh, you can see that the version is 6.0.1. Uh, one of the great additions from Plasma 6 was having support to HDR, so now you can enable that. And I'm gonna teach you how to enable that. For starters, of course, you need an HDR display. I mean, what are you doing if you want to do this without an HDR display? It doesn't make any sense, right? So, in my case, I'm connecting this to a giant Samsung television which has HDR, which is 4K. And if you come here to screen and monitor, yeah, so you can see my current uh, resolution is 4K and I'm putting the scale to 200%. Also, I don't know why there's a bug right now that I can't put it to 60 hertz, whatever, uh, doesn't matter. Uh, and now you have this option to enable HDR. So I'm not going to enable this right now because it's going to probably gonna like spoil the recording so I'm not gonna enable this but I already tested all of this and I tested and it works and everything is fine so let me show you something there was recently this addition here on the forum of KDE uh, I mean the blog uh, which is uh, one of the developers is basically talking about like uh, the current state of HDR and basically right now HDR works uh, it has like different tone uh, tone mappings for SDR and HDR content on the same screen and I tested it it actually works pretty well but the only thing right now that you need to do is to basically install this Vulkan layer which is this VK HDR layer here and he tells you that oh, this is a hack don't use for blah, 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 blah. this is just developers saying I'm not responsible for your broken stuff okay but it runs pretty well okay I tested it in actual games and movies and you can really watch HDR movies on Linux now and play HDR games so uh, actually if you wanna buy uh, I mean if you wanna build it by yourself here you, you can do just that but if you you're lazy like me, you can just come to the AUR and there's this VKHDR layer KWIN6Git. You can just copy this. I'm gonna use yay because again, I'm lazy as heck. So just type yay slash s oh, and then paste this here. It should work and let's see. Nope, nope. I don't wanna build anything. Um, yeah, you can remove the dependencies after the installation. So let's do this. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, perfect. Now you can uh, uh, minimize this. So to begin with, I'm gonna teach you how to watch an HDR movie using the app MPV, which I don't know by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, I already have it here. So if you don't have it, just install it on your package manager. In my case, I'm using Arch, so actually Endeavor OS, but it's basically the same thing, right? So just install it. And now let's sc scroll down here. Uh, they teach you actually how to enable it on a video. So I'm gonna pause the recording right now because I didn't test if enabling HDR in the middle of a recording can spoil the recording. So I'm just gonna stop this. Oh my god. Yeah, I just enabled HDR and holy crap, this screen is so bright that I'm actually gonna use sunglasses right now. <laughs> and I'm not joking, it's like insanely bright. Okay, no, oh my god, it's so much better now. Okay, <laughs> let's continue with the tutorial. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm sorry for that. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm gonna download an HDR video key here, whatever, doesn't matter, just come to daddy, yeah. Um, so what you're gonna do, now basically everything is done. Now you just need, really just need to type this command here, which I'll put on the description. Um, I don't know why I started recording this part if I'm if I didn't even download the video. Let me pause it again. Actually, I was just trying to test if HDR recording was working, so I'm just gonna take this off. 
it's not that bad I'm, I was just joking okay guys now the video is downloaded so let's try it out uh, I don't know how it will be in the recording but I'm gonna tell you from what I'm seeing because this recording is in SDR and I'm pretty sure that OBS and Kwin doesn't manage this yet so let's just paste the command here I'm, I just opened the terminal on the on the folder that the video is look uh, let's erase this path to video and I'm gonna change it to LG lot a lot a lot a lot dot TS oh yeah boy oh, it's so great and look you can actually verify that this is working like for me I can tell that this is in HDR because looking at it like here in this room looking at it, it the, the image is like extremely beautiful the the blues of the skies and the highlights from the clouds and and the colors from the trees everything is perfect but i'm not sure if this will come like if this will show up in the video but you can actually verify that this is actually like mapping hdr uh by doing this that i noticed it uh once that i was testing this out if you actually resize this by double clicking it for a split second you see the image like did you see that it kind of does a blink there you you see that it's like um it's it's kind of if the image was uh just for a split second like it was changed back to sdr in order to do the animation of like resizing the window and then it com comes back to uh hdr i don't know if resizing the window does the same effect no it doesn't oh yeah man looking at this right now is such a beautiful image and yes i also tested this of course i'm a tinkerer i have to test it with everything i tested it with uh blu-ray 4k video Actually, let me turn down the volume here because I'm afraid you won't be able to hear me more, 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 more. I don't know if this has copyright. Uh, I tested this with a Blu-ray 4K video and it works pretty damn well. It was precisely John Wick Part 4 and the image was beautiful. The reds, the blues, all everything was just spot on. Look, oh man, I, I wish I, I wish I could show you this like right now like standing here and looking at it it, it just looks so good okay so now instead of watching videos in HDR what about we play some games okay guys so now we're entering uncharted territories for me because I haven't actually tested uh, Steam games actually I have tested but I only tested this game that him I mean they mentioned which is where is it where is it where is it uh yeah it's quake to rtx which you can just open uh steam normally and you just put this launch parameters on the game and it works i have tested it and the hdr in that game works by doing this but i haven't tested like the actual way to do it for like all the other games uh, you have to launch Steam, again I'll put this command on the description of this video, you have to uh, launch Steam with this command, so let's do it right now. It's uh, basically enabling the, the Vulkan layer, enabling game scope, HDR, ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da, and let's try to open it. Oh yeah, I, I haven't installed game scope, I'm sorry for that. Okay guys, guess what? Finally, I finally made another game other than Quake 2 RTX work so it turns out that both games I was trying to open which were Resident Evil Village and uh, Disco Elysium both of them just don't work apparently with this uh, but I tried one of the games that the developer mentioned which was God of War and it works so let me show you actually I didn't uh, open Steam the way I showed you in the video I just opened Steam normally and instead I put some properties here which are basically the same. Uh, I found these on a video of another guy who showed this too so I'll link you to the video of him so I just I'm not like just stealing his content but yeah I just opened the game with these launch parameters and look 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 it is the year of HDR in Linux oh yeah boy let's go okay let us see let us see did it make any difference um honestly not that I can tell right now let me see let's continue the game here uh, 
here. Hey, this is me. And of course you can see that this is actually Linux because Manga HUD is here. So let's see if it works. If it's like good looking. Oh yeah, let me see. It's like all blown out right now. Oh, it's just the effect of like, yeah. It was just like a bloom effect of some sort. But yeah, oh my god, it, it's actually looking so good. Yeah, it looks really good, like seriously. The colors in real life, looking at it, like the colors are so vibrant. Look at like, I don't know if you can see because this is an SDR, SDR video, right? But everything looks so crispy and colorful and alive, I think. So yeah, you can definitely tell it's working and we enabled it at the menu, right? So yeah. Uh, I don't know why, what happens exactly, but for some reason when I use this, I cannot move my mouse. Okay, so I just connected the controller to be able to look around. I don't know why I have that mouse bug. Unfortunately, you cannot see like the effects of HDR on an SDR video. But just trust me, it's so bright and so colorful. Like looking at it here, the sky is clearly on a different uh, brightness level of, for example, inside this cave, you know. It's like kind of dark and the sky is really, really bright. But unfortunately, the HDR video will never show you that. I mean, the SDR video, yeah. It just looks so beautiful, really. Crazy beautiful. And this is all running on Linux, man. Like, imagine what will happen in, I don't know, like six months or even less, like three months. Okay, so it seems my first test with this, which was with um, Disco Illusion, didn't work. I don't know why. I don't know if that's something of this collision or if I did something wrong. I'm gonna test it with Quake 2 RTX because I tested it before uh, by just using like the you know the the launch parameters on that game specifically, not on the whole Steam thing. Uh, let's see if it works now, considering that I'm like already. Uh, I'm not gonna put any like launch parameters on this game specifically. Uh, let's see if it opens like with all the bells and whistles and everything. Oh yeah, it seems to have worked. HDR options, uh, enable HDR, yes. Okay. I think it's working. It does seem to change. Yeah, it changes. Oh my god, it definitely changes something. Alright, I think it was on 300, so let's just leave it at 300. Yeah, you can tell HDR is working because it's already changing the, those things, so yeah. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I think it will run like shit, but whatever. Yeah, it's running like shit. God damn. But of course you won't be able to watch it on this video. But ah, oh, you can definitely tell the HDR is is is, is on, man. Like, why why is what happened with my? I think I changed something on the settings because my mouse is inverted for some reason. Just looking at this like bright thing makes it so goddamn bright on my monitor. If you want, I can make another video like testing a bunch of games to see how they perform and uh, if they happen to crash like Disco Elysium for some reason. But Quake 2 RTX definitely worked and I'll test more games later. Uh, but for now, it's just cool that you can literally watch HDR movies on Linux, which was not possible until very recently, and play HDR games, which is already possible on the Steam Deck, but not quite, quite possible on a desktop, unless you use like Steam OS or something like that, but this enables you to actually use HDR on Linux, on games and movies on your regular desktop, and that's really cool. Okay, so uh, let me close the video here.
I hope you enjoyed this video guys, uh, thumbs up if you did, comment down below if you have any suggestions for more videos that I can make, like testing this and maybe analyzing the performance, I don't know, there, there are so many things that I can do because uh, this is quite a gigantic feature for Plasma 6. So thank you for your attention, for watching this whole video, which is kind of messy, <laughs> I know, but anyways, thank you for watching and see you next time, bye bye.